गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन नाउ द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज क्लासीफिकेशन ऑफ कंप्यूटर सो वॉट यू मीन बाई क्लासीफिकेशन एज क्लासीफिकेशन मीन्स द टाइप्स और द डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ कंप्यूटर एज यू हैव हर्ड अबाउट लाइक एनालॉग कंप्यूटर सुपर कंप्यूटर देन डेस्क टॉप कंप्यूटर डिजिटल कंप्यूटर सो दीज ऑल आर द टाइप्स ऑफ अ कंप्यूटर so uh, if uh, there is one topic that is classification then uh, obviously in terms of classification we will categorize the uh, computers so basically we are having two types of classification uh, that is according to logic based and according to size based so we will discuss these things uh, in today's topic so let us start that is classification of computer so basically the computer can classify by determining uh, the functionality even though uh, by its size and the purpose for which we are using the computer so accordingly the computer can be classified so if i talk about the classification of computer then these are as follows the first category that is classification according to logic based then the second category that is classification according to size so first of all in today's lecture we will cover that how do we classify the computer according to logic based so let us start that is classification according to logic so uh, classification according to logic means based on its operating principles like how we are operating the computer system so accordingly we can classify this computer in three categories so if i talk about the categories under this logic then the first category is the analog computer and the second category is digital computer and the third one is the hybrid computer so one by one we will discuss these three categories till then uh, you just start the first category that is analog computer so uh, first of all what do you mean by this analog analog means in a form of signal so basically these types of computers are used to process the continuous measurement of any physical property now what do you mean by continuous measurement as if you are talking about uh, like uh, analog then in case of analog we are having the continuous measurement uh, okay so but you are saying that with the help of these computers uh, what you are doing you are uh, processing the continuous measurement of a physical property so first of all you just understand what do you mean by this physical property so here in case of analog computer physical property means the like voltage because voltage is measured in a form of signal so that is why it comes under the physical property then the pressure speed and temperature so basically the continuous measurement of these physical properties uh, comes under or measured with the help of these computers so that is uh, these types of computers are known as analog computers so uh, in case of these computers the output is usually in a form of graph and uh, if you or if the computer is showing or uh, presenting the output in a form of graph then obviously you can say that these types of computers gives approximate output not accurate output so this is one of the disadvantage also but at that time uh, obviously because we are having some limited computers then obviously these computers are very specific purpose computers and uh, if i talk uh, some more points with with this computer then i can see that it is a computer which uses an analog quantity and it produces analog values also as an output so analog computers are obviously very much speedy because they are measuring the, the a continuous uh, measurement of any physical property so that is why the speed is very fast and even though they produce the result very fast but as i have said uh, that the result in this case is approximate that means you are not getting the accurate output which we generally uh, have in case of digital computers like in case of digital computers we just have the accurate output in each and every case but these types of computers are giving the approximate output so that is why this is one of the disadvantage of these computers 
and so all the analog computers are special purpose computers uh, like how how you can say that a special purpose computer let us take some example for example at a service station gasoline pump uh, contains an analog pro processor uh, here we are taking basically one example of petrol pump like where one analog processor is fixed and that is connecting the fuel flow measurement into the quantity and even though they are uh, showing the price values also according to the uh, flow measurement of the fuel so uh, this type of uh, processor is basically one of the example of analog computer now this is one example and uh, uh, if uh, you want to take one another example then obviously there is one more example that is of automobile speedometer so auto in case of uh, any kind of automobile like whether it is a two wheeler whether it is a four wheeler there is one speedometer so with the help of a speedometer you can check the speed of a vehicle uh, and the speed of um, the, your vehicle you can know obviously in a form of approximate terms you are not getting the accurate speed you are measuring basically with the help of that speedometer you are checking the speed of your uh, vehicle so you can see that with the help of analog computer you are getting the approximate output so this is one of the more example of this analog computer then if i talk about the features uh, or the disadvantages in case of uh, this analog computer then um, i can add that it has limited memory space and it is not versatile in nature because only some specific function you are performing with the help of this analog computer so this was all about analog computer that you are measuring the obviously you are measuring the analog signals or you are taking the continuous measurement of any physical property in case of this analog uh, computer uh, so this was all about analog then let us take one another category in case of logic based computer that is digital computer so as uh, with the help of this digital computer you this with the help of this term you can understand that these types of computers are basically taking the data in a form of digits so if you are taking the data in a form of digit then obviously you can uh, get the accurate output with the help of these computers so these are the very high speed programmable electronic devices as uh, these digital computers uh, we are using in our day to day life even though we are using it in our offices we are using these digital computers in education uh, so in uh, in almost every field we are using these digital computers so obviously these are very high speed programmable computer and they can perform mathematical calculation they can compare the values with the help of these computers you can play games you can play music and even though you can perform some more uh, specific task with the help of these computers because uh, these digital computers uh, can be used in different different applications so that is why that means digital computers represent the physical quantities with the help of digits or numbers because you are saying that digital that means uh, this these types of computers are working on digits or numbers so these numbers are used to perform the arithmetic calculation and also you can make logical decisions with the help of these computers to reach a conclusion or to uh, finally produce the output depending upon the data you, the computer is receiving from the user so with the help of digital computer we can perform different different tasks like if you are using this digital computer in a field of bank uh, then obviously with the help of uh, these computers you are entering all the transactions with the help of digital computers if you are using it in government field uh, then obviously with the help of uh, these computers you are performing that specific task in that field now let us take one example of this computer that is personal computer because with the help of personal computers if any user want to play games 
so he can do so if any user want to uh, watch movie then he can do so so these all types of computers comes under personal computer so all the personal computer which we are using are obviously they comes under the category of digital computer then uh, we can have one more example that is of a scoreboard uh, as you can see that the number of a scoreboard which we are having in any match obviously they counts the digits and uh, the scoreboard that directly counts the discrete values such as the time left to play and the score of each team there obviously it is possible with the help of digital computer so a scoreboard can come under the category that is of digital computer we are having some more example in case of digital computer like uh, the digital thermometer so digital thermometer uh, is one of the example of uh, what digital computers as in case of digital uh, thermometer what is basically happen uh, you are measuring the uh, you are measuring the continuous measurement of your body temperature so that uh, so that will come the digital thermometer will come under the category of hybrid not in digital computer the digital thermometer will come uh, under the hybrid computer so i'll discuss this in the uh, next category Uh, then the in case of digital computer we are having some features also like it works by counting the numbers as uh, you are saying that it is a one kind of digital computer so it works upon uh, by counting the numbers and the accuracy of this machine is very high and it has large memory capacity and it is a multi purpose machine hence the cost is very high and it is very difficult to program because uh, these types of computer can perform different different task that is why it is very difficult to program then it is versatile in nature so this was all about the digital computer then the next category that is uh, okay in case of digital computer we can further uh, group uh, these digital computers in two categories that is general purpose computer and the special purpose computer like the first uh, type of digital computer that is general purpose digital computer so uh, general purpose digital computer uh, basically they can theoretically be used for any type of application means these types of digital computers can be used in any kind of application like from scientific up to commercial or in a in a day to day life basically so the computers that are used uh, that are used for payroll graphs analysis education accounting banking even though in our personal purpose so that comes under the general purpose digital computer but what are the special purpose digital computer special purpose digital computers basically perform some one specific application like these are the computers which are made and even though used for specific jobs or these uh, computers are having narrow range of task means uh, and the set of instruction required for that task is permanently stored in the computer memory means if that is fixed the number of instructions are fixed you see each and every time you have to perform this task only so these special purpose computers are specific to only one task for instance the computer installed in automobiles to control the fuel so uh, that uh, computer that digital computer will perform only that same task again and again because all the instructions are fixed into that computer so these types of computers are known as the special purpose digital computers so uh, the personal computers comes under the category of general purpose digital computers because with the help of general computer with the help of general purpose digital computer we can perform different different task so that is why the personal computer will come under general purpose digital computer but uh, the computer which are installed in the automobile to control the fuel and for braking system so the, that will come under the category of a special purpose digital computer hope you have understood now uh, the next term that is uh, under this classification according to logic uh, based we are having the third category also that is hybrid computer so hybrid computer is what basically it is a data processing device which combines the best feature of both analog and digital computers and what was the best feature in case of analog 
in case of analog you were having that uh, the analog computers are very much high in speed so you are taking that uh, uh, speed into this hybrid computer and in case of digital computer you uh, you are having one advantage that it is accurate in nature so what you are doing you are combining the best features of these two computers into this hybrid computer so you just know this point basically this this computer helps the user to process both continuous and discrete data that means they have the speed of analog and the accuracy of digital computer so you can say that in case of hybrid computer one converter is fixed uh, this point should be noted that in case of this computer one converter is fixed to convert the analog signal into digital signal just like i have taken one example of digital thermometer that in case of digital thermometer what is being happen uh, basically one the converter is converting the body temperature into digital signal or in digital format so the this is one of the example of this hybrid computer because in case of this hybrid computer a one converter is fixed to convert the analog signal into digital signal and to digital signal into analog signal so they are special purpose machines and these machines are generally used in scientific applications even though they can be used in industrial processes they can be used in medical uh, fields like in hospitals we basically measure the temperature of the body and we just show the uh, uh, output in a form of the digits so the most of the hospital instruments comes under the category of hybrid computer like uh, you can take one example that a computer used in hospitals where analog section measures the patient temperature or heart function and the digital section records and prints out the number like what is uh, how the heart is functioning and what is the temperature what is the body temperature of that patient so it is showing with the help of digits so uh, this is one of the example of hybrid computer hope you have understood all these categories under the classification according to logic based so thank you everyone hope you have understood all these things now in the next session we will cover uh, the next classification of computer so thank you everyone